Trepidation about the long-term effects of these novel vaccines seems disproportionate. Is this just based on the precautionary principle? Um, yes and no. I would say I don't think it's disproportionate. Obviously, I guess this person is commenting on our trepidations. I think so. I don't think our, disp our trepidations are disproportionate, obviously. If I <laughs> right. did, they'd be smaller. Right. Um, but I think the point is once you have seen what complex adaptive systems are like and how difficult it is to predict what is going to happen, and then you see, oh, no, we've got a complex system within a complex system within a complex system. So yeah. to spell that out, you've got yeah. the population level. What are the dynamics of the virus and the immunity in the population? You've got the individual. Oh, my God, that's a biological complex system in which it is effectively going to be impossible to know what a novel phenomenon is going to do when introduced into that body. We have to find out empirically, and the duration over which we'd have to look is extremely long. And then, oh, my God, on top of that, you've got this thing is interacting with the immune system, mm -hmm. which is actually the one system in the body that literally evolves within the scale of weeks to months. The point is that level of complexity interfacing with each other guarantees that there will be phenomena here you simply cannot predict, especially given mm -hmm. our very early stage of even understanding the way these things work. Yeah. So what are the chances that there's going to be uh, bad stuff? It's higher than you think. I, I don't want to say that. I yep. want to be a cheerleader for vaccines because we're so good at wielding them and we're so wise about uh, what kind of harm they're going to do, but I know we're not, right? Yep. So... Um, Three complex systems, three complex adaptive systems layered on top of each other where one of them is the immune system and when it goes wrong, it's liable to be, to create an autoimmunity uh, or uh, a cancer or something like that. That's a lot of hazard. Yeah. In such a situation, we prefer tried and true. Yes. And mm -hmm. even then, even then, our point has Still not risky. been, don't do this. Our point is you've got competing bad situations. You've got mm -hmm. COVID on the one hand, which is worse than people think, and you've got the vaccines, which are less well understood than we are pretending. And right. um, those two things now, you know, this is the situation you don't want to be in where you have to make a decision that you know you don't have any good answers. Mm -hmm.